Hi Aquarius, welcome to your singles reading for June. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome and thank you. This is intended for singles who's looking for new love, wanting to know about a new incoming person, could be your next date, next significant relationship, um, your future ex, who knows here. We're going to take the energies as they come. If you do have a connection with somebody that you have, whether you're together or not, and you are single, you can watch the Love Connection readings. I do have it on my channel, so feel free to check those out too. Links are below to your Love in General readings, so you'll find it under the Love section. Otherwise, if you're single looking for new love and ready to get out there, and you know when we can, of course, we're all in lockdown. But uh, we'll see what comes out here. Hopefully, we'll find some new love for you, Aquarius singles. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, male or female, General Collective. So Aquarius, what I'm going to do here, first of all, I hope everyone's doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time. So what I'm going to do here, Aquarius, I'm going to pull one oracle from each uh, deck and we'll get their energy. This is like their main energy they could be in or the energy of like who they are as a person. So we'll see what we get here. But then we'll get their like soul and spirit energy with this deck and then we'll get their love energy with this deck and then we'll clarify that energy with the tarot. And then we'll look at how you would um, feel about each other. And then we'll look at blocks, challenges, advice, guidance, possible outcome of this connection. All right, for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, male or female, general collective. And you can check the description box below. Tons of stuff down there. Um, social media links, how to reach out for personal reading, the decks I'm using. Tons and tons of stuff, so please do go check that out. All right, Aquarius, what is the energy of new love coming into Aquarius spirit, please? Thank you so much. What is, and take this how it resonates for you. If you feel like um, this doesn't really resonate for you. Um, again, like I said, you can check the description box and watch past readings. I do consider them all timeless, even though they're dated. So if something catches your eye, I would say watch it anyway. I've watched other readers' past readings from a year ago that totally resonated for me. So <clears throat> it's all just energy. All right. So let's get the spirit and soul energy of this new love coming into Aquarians. Spirit, please. Thank you so much. And if you're new, you can check out my channel, like what you see. Feel free to sh uh, like, share, subscribe, comment, all that great stuff, or anybody can. Um, and then hit the bell, you won't miss out. And if you're new, you can check out my channel, like what you see. I do um, all kind of readings. You get about four readings a month, and sometimes five uh, if you get a bonus reading. So there's something for everyone. And if you do, thank you, and welcome to the family. Don't forget to hit the bell, you won't miss out. All right, so Aquarius. What is the love energy like of this person? For Aquarius spirit, please. Thank you so much. Incoming love, new love. For Aquarian singles, this new love coming in. Sun, moon, rising. Wow, okay. Sun, moon, rising. I think this is going to be a sun excited. <laughs> Ready for some new love. All right. Let's see what their energy is. So we have creativity. Imagination, expression, originality, and passion. We have 35 here, which is 8. It's about travel, action, communication. So I feel like this is somebody who, and that is blue, which is all about the throat chakra. So this could be somebody who is very vocal. They're not shy. Um, and I got that energy. My card's jumping out here. Definitely not shy. They could be a writer. They could be, um, they express themselves in some way, very creative in some way. They could be in the arts in some way, shape, or form, um, that kind of energy also. They could be like a leader, um, leader of like their team, whatever their like career is. They could be like a team leader, that kind of like in the creative process or um, something like that. I'm getting like um, in advertising how you have that main person that creates um, like the project manager, things like that. I, I see this person doing something like that, like leading a team. So that's kind of the energy, I guess. Someone very passionate, go-getter. Uh, they take action. They have imagination. They're creative. So they do something very creative. Uh, they could be in advertising, I'm getting, or something like that. And they could also, like, do arts on the side and maybe, like, write or, uh, 
you know, an author or a write or a journal or blog or something like that also. Oh, wow. Okay. So let's see what their spirit and soul energy is. Yoga. Your life is enhanced by yoga, stretching, and exercising. So, okay, this person's probably really into exercise, probably yoga specifically, or Pilates, or things of that effect, or maybe they meditate a lot also. Maybe that's where they get all their creativity from. So I feel like someone very kind of peaceful, too. Even though they're a go-getter, they're creative, they, you know, not afraid to express themselves, they have a lot of passion, but I feel like they also have a peaceful quality about them, too, like a meditative, peaceful um, energy. So I think they're very balanced. Like, they're a go-getter, passionate, very vocal, but yet they're also, like, well-balanced and um, peaceful also. Wow. Okay. So let's see what their energy is, love energy. Heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Honestly, discuss your feelings with each other. And I had this energy before I even started shuffling your decks, I had this card in my mind. So that's just crazy that this came out. So, and I had felt that with this blue energy here, which is the throat chakra. This is somebody who is going to be very vocal. You know, they want honesty. They want to discuss everything. Um, if there's a problem, if there's an issue, if there's something that needs to be discussed, they don't just sweep it under the rug. Uh, they want to face things head on. And, you know, either come up with a solution or a resolution or, you know, make peace or something like that. So I think this person, when it comes to love, honesty is very, very important and truly um, saying how you feel about each other. You know, if something's bothering you. Like, I don't see this person, like, if something's bothering you and you're like, oh, I'm fine. And you just don't talk about this person is not going to put up with that. They want to know, you know, if something's bothering you, if you're upset or anything like that. You know, they want to discuss issues as they come up and not just sweep them under the rug also. All right, so. All right, so now we got the energy of this person. So you know if this energy interests you that, um, you know, if you feel this reading is for you. I mean, it could describe somebody you know, but you're not romantically involved with or anything like that. But uh, this is intended for somebody new, but however that resonates for you. So let's clarify this energy with the tarot for you, Aquarius. Singles. My cards are... All right. So I have to shuffle this way. Let's clarify this energy for... Okay. I'm feeling these two. I'm going to get about six cards. Six cards. I'm going to lay them out. Let's see. Okay. We got six. Okay, so we have the Three of Fire, it's the Three of Wands. We have the Nine of Earth, so we have the Nine of Pentacles energy. We have the Four of Earth, the Four of Pentacle energy. These cards are big, so let's see. Four of Wands. This is my Twin Flame card, but it doesn't necessar excuse me, necessarily have to be. So, let's see. The King of Fire, so we have Leo here, the King of Wands. And, okay, we'll read this energy in a minute. The Three of Cups energy. So, let me get all these out here. So what I feel like with their energy here, I feel like there's somebody very stable. We have two fours right in the middle of their energy, and I felt that. They have a sense of that passion and drive, and also that passion of being practical, stable, and grounded. And I felt that energy, especially with this energy and that energy together, and Nine of Pentacles is someone very stable, again, independent. They can take care of themselves. They have everything they need. They probably make good money. I could see them being, like, in a very well-paying job, like, making six figures a year, like, being in advertising, being, like, a team leader, a project leader, um, or something like that. Three of Fire. So that's, you know, Three of Wands is about waiting, patiently waiting for your ships to come in. But, you know, the King of Fire, again, we have that go-getter, passionate energy. So I definitely feel that energy here in the Three of Water. You know, I think they like to go out, socialize, have a good time. That's about, you know, coming together, socializing, uh, uniting or reuniting or having a good time. So I feel like there's somebody 
that likes to go out too with their friends and you know have a few drinks and be I think they like to be very social even though um, I'm getting like a social butterfly even though they have this other energy about them too about being stable and grounded and practical but also in peaceful but also fiery passionate go-getter very social butterfly I think they they're not shy I think they go up talk to anybody here with the three of wands here though about patiently waiting for the ships to come in um, you know, to me, that's like manifestation. So I feel like they just manifested, you know, everything in their life here and they were calm and they were peaceful and they were patient and they manifested the life that they wanted. That's exactly how I feel. But I mean, we do have, don't have any swords here. So I don't, you know, and we do have, you know, up here, creativity, which is blue throat chakra, which does represent kind of like the sword energy. But I don't think this is somebody that, like, gets up in their head that much either. I don't think they, like, stress out. I don't see them stressing out much either. So it's kind of a good energy. All right. So, so very good energy here. All right, Aquarius. So let's see how you will feel. Oh, my cat's in, in this box. So if you hear that... Um, that noise is <laughs> boxes right around the corner, so sorry about that. All right, so let's see how you will feel, Aquarius. Get three cards for you. The star, and that's our energy. The ten of fire. And the king of air. So the star, that's your energy, Aquarius, or they could be Aquarius. We have the ten of wands, and then we have the king of air, just Gemini. So I feel like, you know, the Ten of Fire could just be like a lot of fiery, passionate energy, but it's also about laying down heavy burdens or feeling burdened or in some way, shape, or form. You know, the King of Air, you know, the Kings, Queens, King, Queen, doesn't matter here, uh, but it is the sign of Gemini. Um, so, so far we got Leo, Gemini, Aquarius. Um, you know, star, divinely guided energy, faith, hope, optimism, wish dreams coming true, healing energy. So you may see them as a wish come true, a dream come true. But for some reason, you're feeling burdened. So, I mean, maybe you just went through a very burdensome ending of some kind in the past. And that still kind of lingers on your mind. But I do see a lot of deep healing here. So you may see them as a wish and dream come true. But you're not sure if, you know, you could be ready for you know, another relationship. So, you know, this is uh, having the, the king of king and queen of air here, having mental clarity, uh, open, honest, truthful communication. So I think you may be very open and honest to this person. Like, you know, I think you're going to like them, feel like they're divinely guided or wish come true kind of energy, but yet feeling like, geez, I'm not sure if I'm ready for a new relationship yet. So I think you'll be very honest. I think Air signs are very honest anyway. So I think you'll be very, very open and honest with this person, exactly how you're feeling. But, you know, the star is about divinely guided energy. So I feel like, you know, and this may happen um, unexpectedly, like running into them, like, uh, unexpectedly, but it's something that was meant to be. All right, so let's see how they'll feel about you. So we have the five... A pentacle energy. Well, we have the fortune's wheel. So we have Sagittarius here. Let's get one more. We got the ace of air. Wow. So I feel like, so we got Sagittarius. So I feel like, so the star and the fortune's wheel are both kind of like that divinely guided energy. Fortune's wheel brings in something meant to be. So it's like, Something's going to bring you together because you guys are meant to be together. But it may come at, an, um, at a time when it's not like the best time for either of you. That's usually how it happens. Because I feel like, you know, they have a little bit of lack here in some way, shape, or form. Could be monetary. Could be because we're in lockdown. Maybe, you know, they're not making the money like they, you know, were at one point. But I do see things getting better, better here with the Fortune's Wheel. And then we have the Ace of Air, which is divinely guided, brand new beginning. 
uh, truth, clarity, epiphany, aha moment, awakening, um, open, honest communication. So I feel like you both have the same energy here of like you'll be divinely guided to each other in some way, shape, or form, how you, however you meet, whatever it is here. But I feel like they're going through, an, an, you know, a lack, a time of lack in their life. And you're at a time when I'm not sure if I'm ready for a new relationship because I'm still kind of in that energy of whatever I just, because tender about endings, what I just ended was very burdensome and I'm just not, you know, still kind of juggling around here. So, I mean, we have, and we have two air energies here. So definitely, I think you'd be very open and honest with each other. And they may say, oh, you know, I just went through this and, you know, I'm not really at a good point right now. And you may be like, oh, me either, you know, and you may start talking about what you're going through. Then it might spark a little bit of interest here. But uh, let's see. Um, so we have fall into winter. Could be something at nighttime. Could be at like a casino or, you know, maybe go into the gas station getting a lottery ticket because you may both feel like, hey, you know, let me, then let's go buy a lottery. I'm going to go buy a lottery ticket. And you may just run into one another or something like that. Um, that's kind of what I feel. So let's see. Let's see here. Although they have a little bit of lack, I don't think they'd be at a casino. Um, but, uh, you know, maybe just going to buy a lottery ticket or, you know, at the convenience store or something like that. Or they could just be, you know, at the casino, just, you know, having fun with friends. Not really gambling too much. All right. Because I see, like, this circular motion and they have the fortune. So that's just crazy. All right. So, you know, with the Ace of Air and the King of Air, that, you I mean, the eight, like I said, the Ace, King, Queen are always, like, divine energy to me bringing in shining divine light and clarity. So it's like, I feel with the star and the wheel here is like, <clears throat> whatever you guys are going through, whatever you guys are happening to do at that moment was meant to be to bring you both together. Wow. Okay. So let's see, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, any blocks, challenges in this connection. We get some advice, guidance. So we got strength. So we got Leo and the Emperor. Wow. Seven of fire. Two of earth. The Empress. Holy crap. We got divine counterparts here. This could definitely be a soulmate twin flame energy here. And I had four wands up there. And didn't I say at the beginning, that's usually my twin flame card. And now we have the Emperor and the Empress coming out. Are you kidding me right now? Divine counterparts. Wow. So we have strength. Again, very strong bond here. Needing to find strength, courage. I feel like block challenge here would be to find the strength and courage to... And maybe add an... You know... Um, what's the word I want to say? Anyway, not a, like a good time for either of you, but it's like, okay... Can we muster up the strength to do this? So that may be a little block or a challenge because it's not a good time for either of you. But I feel like you you felt like you both will feel like this was divinely guided meant to be. It's like you're just going to know, but yet be like, this isn't the right time for me. Because so seven uh, wands here is being a little defensive. So there may be a little challenge here, defensive energy. Two of earth. So trying to balance out, trying to juggle out. But we do have the Emperor and the Empress here. Divine counterparts. Wow. So let's get one more. One more. Blocks. Challenges here. So the challenge here is trying to, each of you, find balance within yourselves to pursue this. Not be so defensive. To, you know, muster up the strength, coverage, and bravery within each of you. Um, to get through that. So that we can move in this divine counterpart energy. Patience. Yeah. Temperance uh, angel here. Bringing the soulmates together. Trying to bring the twin flames together. And I had felt that. The universe is trying to bring divine counterparts together here. Sagittarius energy there again. So this is about having a balance. So here we're trying to find our balance. And here 
you know, we're getting balance, finding balance, being patient, peace, harmony, healing energy. Wow, divine, I can't believe that. Emperor and Empress. So let's see, Aquarius, what kind of connection, like, what kind of connection this will be. Very strong bond here with strength. The Queen of Water, so a lot of love and emotions here. So now we have um, Cancer energy, King or Queen. Four of Air, Four of Swords. So again, that resting, retreating kind of energy. We have the Six of Water, so a past life soulmate here. You could have past lives with this person. Or this, like I said at the beginning, could be some from the past returning. Maybe you forgot all about or haven't seen in a very long time. So now it's kind of like a new, uh, somebody new coming in. Or you could have had past lives with this person. Or are you going to feel like you've known them forever? Queen of Earth here. So uh, this could be Capricorn. So this is like my minor of the Empress. And I'm placing it right on the Emperor. So... <laughs> Someone here is going to know their other person is their emperor, empress, or whatever here. Stability, pr practicality, grounded energy. We have the hangman. So again, Pisces energy here. So needing to do a little more thinking uh, about this. But there definitely will be love and emotions here. With the queen of water, king or queen. But needing to rest, recuperate, think a little bit more. Feeling like connected like you've known them like forever and it's probably because you had past lives with them definitely knowing okay that other person is i could just feel it they're my person they're my person i'm meant to be with and then being a little hung up on it like geez you know needing to um maybe think about it a little bit more getting new perspectives enlightenment just taking a little bit of a break here to understand this and then here we are communicating very stable grounded energy communicating here um, could be an offer coming in with the page of pentacles here or, you know, good news offer. Okay. Let's do this. Let's take it slow, steady, grounded, practical. So let's get <laughs> ace of cups on the bottom. Let's get <laughs> love. Now we got the lovers here, the ace of pentacles. Wow. Okay. Moving forward. All right. <laughs> Holy crap. So Brand new beginning in love, divinely guided, love and emotions overflowing. We got the lovers here, Gemini, soulmate, twin flame energy. Now we have the ace of pentacles, strong, stable, new beginning for the long term. This could definitely be your long term partner, person. Here we are finally moving forward. You know, I feel like it's going to come at like a time when it's just not the best for either of you. But now we're getting at the point where we can just move forward together to peace, harmony, and balance to a better place together with the Six of um, Swords energy. And now we have the King of Water, which is the match to the King of Water. So divine counterparts again, love and emotions overflowing. Hermit again, you know, doing that deep Virgo energy here. And this is Pisces again. So deep introspection, thinking, um, long and hot about this. And okay, now we're moving forward. Cancer energy here with drive ambition passion balance victory success moving this forward after being a little bit in the hermit mode and now we have the king of earth which is a match to the queen of earth again the emperor and the empress again these are like the minors of the emperor and the empress so we have two matches here we have the king and queen of earth the king and queen of water the emperor the empress the Lovers, the Ace of Cups, the Ace of Pentacles, the Wheel of Fortune, the Star. Yeah, this is divinely guided, meant to be connection, Aquarius. And it may come at the most, um, I, I don't think the timing, the timing's not going to feel right, but it's going to be the perfect timing. That's kind of what I'm feeling with this, Aquarius. Wow. Okay, Aquarius, best of luck to you. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.